Hi guys, Bill Bacardi here. Uh, hopefully everybody's well this evening. We're going to pick a lock today. Let me get my vice out. Um, I opened a little package from Neil Sapien. He sent me this little American that he picked on his channel. It's American clone. Uh, U.S. Forestry Service, I think is what it is. It's a Taiwan lock, but uh, he couldn't find a blank for it or nothing. So I got the core pulled out of it. I'm going to find a blank and make him a key for that because he didn't have one. And I sent him this little... Uh, Yale style oval. I think I got this from Daz Evers actually. I cut it in half and I have the other half and I don't make it into a challenge lock. And I'm going to send these out as brother and sister here. I don't know if you can see that or not here. There's mine. And I made him a little bag already for his. Uh, but obviously it's not going to leave my shop without getting picked first. <laughs> so let's get in the vise. Uh, here's the bidding on it. I don't know if you can see that or not guys. Yeah, that don't look too bad. We'll get it in the vise and see if we can get this picked, see what Neil put in it. Uh, also, I want to say congratulations to uh, Suncoast Picker. He won the 100 subscriber video, the 100 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we'll put a 40,000 top of the keyway in it because it's Yale and it fits very nicely in there. Uh, how's that? You can't see nothing there, huh, guys? Let me move that up a little further. Uh, that works for me there, if that works for you guys. And let's see if we can get in this, fellas. Okay. Uh, start in the back of it, obviously. Because I always start in the back, unless it's a you know quick set or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna send this out as like a almost like a collaboration thing. It's just gonna be a brother and sister lock. Um, well, I got a little turn on the core there from that. I think that was number six, actually. I feel like I'm hung on something here, guys. I don't know. Let me reset and start over. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there. See, my hands are always in front of the camera. Let me turn that a little further, and then hopefully you can see a little better, I think, if I do that. Yeah, that's a little better, I think. Okay, right, guys, let's reset and start over here again. Okay. Okay, I just touched. I think that was four, and I got a little twist on the core. Big click on three. One is pretty solid. Okay, I want to do a little bit of a false set there. Something's locked up there again. Yep. There. Ooh, that was a big crunch there. I think that was four again. I said six. I meant five earlier, guys. <laughs> These are only five pinners. I feel like I'm hung again. Let me reset that. Let me make sure that that key even works in this here. Oh, yeah, it works very smooth, too. Well, wow. Oh, and he named this Europe. Okay. Sorry, fellas. Okay, let's try it again here. Okay, I think that's five I just touched there. Got a little turn on that core again. Obviously, I haven't picked this yet. This is my first time. I think I'm... Okay, something oversets me as soon as I... Oh, whoa, that's a deep fall set there, guys. Holy cow. I just zipped it a little bit and went right into a deep, deep, deep fall set. I think I'm open there. I really do. I think I lost my tension wrench, but I believe I'm open. Yes, I am. There you go, guys. Let's see what Neil put in this lock here, fellas. I'm still in frame, I hope, right? Okay. Pull the pinning board up here. I got all kind of stuff on my pinning board <laughs> in front of it today. Uh, I knew that was one of those clips, but I didn't remember. Oh, am I still in frame? I hope, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to try my, my uh, circlip remover here to see if I can get that off of there. Sorry, guys. I think I can use this. Instead of trying to fight it off of that keyway there. Yeah, I got it. It's off there. Beautiful. Ow! Please my finger in that thing. It is a challenge lock, so let's stick a shim in it. Okay. And Neil's been making some pretty good videos lately. Uh, if you haven't checked his channel out, please stop over there and check him out. He's pretty good. 
pretty funny picker. He, uh, he's got a lot of funny comments. Okay, we're through that. Oh, I got this alarm remote on there. I forgot about Okay, let's see what he's got in this. Okay, he's definitely got some counter milling going on here. Looks like one and, I'm sorry, three and four counter milled. Two, three, and four. Yeah, definitely. And one and five have nothing. There's a the core. You see everything had to be picked in it. There's definitely a T-pin in the top of this lock because of that really deep false set I got. Okay, one is a standard pin. Two has some light serrations on it. Oh, and that cord looks like it's threaded too down inside there, huh? I'll have to get the flashlight and look. Uh, four doesn't want to come. Oh, that's a deep one with a double serration on it. Very nice pin, Neil. This one's kind of like a spool on the top almost. It's so deep, the serration. Okay, let's see what he's got up in the top of this, baby. Oh, you know what? Let's look at my pick in my hand. I don't know why. <laughs> let's get some tweezers here, guys. Am I still in frame? Okay, let's see what he's got up in the top of this. Very nice job on those pins, Neil. Okay, number one, we have a, oh, a wedding cake. He did say in one of his videos that he was learning from watching West Coast Picks uh, Steel Spring in that one. Let's get that out of there. Uh, videos. So I expect a wedding cake, I guess. That's like West Coast Picks uh, signature pin. He is really good at them, too. Let me tell you, guys. Uh, another Steel Spring in two. Let's get three out of here. Oh, okay, that was a drunken spool. Okay, I see now it came out. And three, that was a drunken spool. Very nice, Neil. Great idea, buddy. Put it in that far back. That was probably what I got hung up on then. I'm going to bet with that real deep full set. I hate these followers that are hollow in the middle. They make me nuts. Okay, I see how he came out. He's a pin in pin. Very nice, Neil. Very nice. For your fourth challenge lock, let me tell you, you're doing very well, my friend. Doing pin and pins already. That's awesome. Okay, I see how he came out on number... Oh, I'm sorry. That was... This is four. This is five. I am sorry, guys. So this spring goes in four. 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 I can't even talk today. <laughs> Been a long day. I'm tired, guys. Okay, all the springs look like they're the same in here. But that pin and pin, I'm betting that pin and pin was probably what I got hung up on. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring you over to the top of the pins because it's easier for me to do it that way than try and bring the pinning board up to that. Okay, and number one, we had a standard and a key pin. Oh, let me get a pick here, second point. A wedding cake upstairs. Then we had nicely little double serration in this with a serrated up top. Then we had a serration in this number three pin, a drunken spool up above him, steel spring, obviously. Number four, we had this double serrated with a really cool double serrated up top. He was in that way. And then we had this pin and pin. I believe he was in like this, actually, with this pretty cool serrated underneath it. Neo Sapien, very nice job, my friend. There's all the pins, guys. I don't know how to zoom, so this is the best I could do for you. My camera work is horrible, I know. But thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody. And talk to you later. Good night.